Hello, good evening, guys. Hey, how are you? Hello, good, and you? I'm great, great. You feel better? Yes, uh, so, so yes, yes, I do. Thank you for asking, Jennifer. And Carla, Carla, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to see you here. Welcome, Mary, Jennifer, Carla. Yeah, so what happened is that I had a chest pain yesterday. Like I had a pain on my left side, so mm -hmm. but it's it's a <clears throat> so it, it's a it's a pain that I've had before, and uh, but this time around, you know, I started having it like since twelve in the twelve noon until like two thirty p.m. So I went to the to to my you know to my works clinic, right and. Um, and they said that they were going to send me to the hospital to check on me. So I was not feeling like really, really bad, but I did have that chest pain, right? So they, um, so they requested uh, an ambulance. They took me to El Hospital General, you know, and then I stayed there for like 12 hours, 12 hours. I had to stay there for 20, 12 hours. They did some tests and everything, right? So I do have something, right? I do have something um, I, in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I do have something you know to take care of, right? But it's not something so bad now that like right now, right? I I, I do need to eat better <clears throat> and you know do more exercise, right? Like live health healthier, um, and that's it, you know. But yeah, yeah. My 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 friends went there, you know. Uh, I I I actually had to leave my car at my workplace. And then I, I went to my workplace today to to get my car because I left it there yesterday. And one of my friends one of my friends took me home, you know, and but yeah. It was uh it was an annoying experience. <laughs> How about you guys? I'm sorry that I was not able to be with you yesterday, right? Um we're gonna have a class though on Friday, okay? And I don't know why not everybody's here now. So how about you guys? How how was like how do you feel? I'm sorry that I don't know what time they they let you know that I was not gonna be there, but uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, how how do you feel, guys? How do you feel? Hello, I'm sorry, I didn't hear well. You said that we are going to have classes this Friday. Yes, we are going to have a class this Friday because we didn't have a class yesterday. They they sent a message on WhatsApp about it. <laughs> what happened? What what happened, Jennifer? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. I I still oh. have um, internet problems. I only hear like what happened, Jennifer. What happened? Uh, okay, all right, I got it, got it, got it. All right, very good. Don't worry, okay. But uh, yeah, well. My teacher, my teacher really a better teacher. Yes, sir. I'm feeling better. Thank you for asking. Thank you, thank you. I missed you yesterday, guys. Where I was like, you know, <laughs> I would prefer a thousand times, you know, to to deliver class, to deliver my class, than being, you know, waiting at the hospital. It's horrible. <laughs> so, anyways, right? So it's really good to see you, though. Okay. Anyway, so uh, so let's get started, guys. So today we are going to talk about past tenses. Okay, but there's one topic that you'll be interested in. How are you doing with the platform, guys? How's everything? What? Did you finish it? With the platform? Yes. Yes, with the platform, yes, yes. <laughs> the platform. The, yes. the four part, yes. OK. All right, good job, good job. Okay, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you very much. I, I will do my exercise on Saturday. It's my <laughs> free time for that. So I, I will spend my, my time in that. All right, thank you, thank you guys. Okay, yes, finish the platform, please. Okay, now guys, uh, today we're gonna talk about past perfect. So we talked about simple past and past uh, continuous before right so today we're going to talk about past perfect now remember guys so past past uh, simple past and, and it's very important guys that you remember the usage of simple past 
versus past continuous, okay? So simple past, guys. What do we use simple past for? To talk about events that already finished in the past, right? Past yes. continuous? To talk about? To describe. To describe. An action. To describe uh -huh. an action in progress in the past, no? Yes, to describe an action in progress in the past, okay? Good job, guys. So today, guys, by the end of the course, um, we'll be able to understand what past perfect is, you know, and we're going to have some practice, okay? So let's have a warm-up. You know, we're going to go over grammar, and there's going to be some practice. So let's talk about that past perfect form, okay? All right, <clears throat> so I want you to notice something, guys. Take a look at, Take a look at this and tell me, what is uh, what are some of the differences that you see between simple past and past perfect? What do you think? Mm, the structure in okay. simple past uh, is just the subject verb in past and the complement. And for the past perfect um, subject, uh, had and the uh, past participle and the complement. Great, great job, okay. Great job. Okay, so yes guys, okay, so we had had, right, and past participle, okay. So now, had guys, had will be the, the what? Uh, had will be the auxiliary, right? Okay, so if it is the auxiliary, guys, how do we start a question, guys? How will we make a question if had is the auxiliary? What do you think? With had. And then the subject. The auxiliary, okay. Okay, very good. Yes, we've had and then the subject, right? Very good. Um, now, guys, <clears throat> one thing, guys, that is important to point out here is the fact that um, had is the same for all sub, I mean, for all uh, pronouns, okay? So, even, so if you talk in third person or in first person or in second person, you will have the same, um, you will still have you to use had, okay? You don't use, guys, you do not use, uh, it's not different, right? The form of the verb is not different if you use third person, okay? There is no difference when you use third person in past perfect, okay? Very good. So, um. So I want somebody guys to please help me read the example that we got over here. Hold on. Okay, over here. Go ahead. Example, when I arrived, my parents had left. Had you already had lunch when they arrived? We hadn't finished it for homework when they come, when they came. When they came, thank you. Thank you very much, all right? Thank you. Okay, so notice guys, that we have a few components, okay? So we have, right, subject plus had. Had will always be there, guys, okay? Regardless if it is third person or not. And then we have the past participle form. And what is a past participle, participle guys? Does anybody remember what a past participle is? What do you think? Anybody know? All right. So the past participle, guys, a past participle is the third form of the verb, okay? So let me give you an example because that is very important, right? So for verbs, guys, there are three forms in verbs. So we have, you know, oops, sorry. 
Ah, hold on, guys. Just... So, guys, we have we have three forms of the verb. Okay, we have uh, let's see. What's the format? 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 Right. So we have the the three forms of the verb of the verbs, right? So we have guys the base form. We have the past form, and then we have the past participle form. Okay, past participle form, right? So now this is, guys, this is a review, right? Because you should already know this by now, but we have three forms, okay? So what is the base? Give, give me a verb in base form, guys. Any verb in base form. Eat. Eat, okay. Eat, okay. All right. I like eat it, okay? Give me another one, right? This one is irregular, okay? So this one is irregular. Mm -hmm. give, give me another one. It's okay. You can give me regular, so regular. But I want a regular one now. Play. Right. Cry. Okay, very good. So we have Maria, you said cry, right? Cry. All right, somebody said play. Very good. So let's, okay, so we have eat and cry, right? Now will be the past form of, of uh, what will be the past form of eat? Eight. 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 Okay, Eight. so that would be. Eight, very good. What about cry? Cry. Cry, cry. Right, right? Very good. And what would be the past participle form of eat? Eat. 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 Right. And cry? The same. Right. The same one. The same, right? So that would be cry, cry, right? Very good, guys. Pretty good. Okay. We got it. So, okay, so we have three forms, right? It's like in Spanish, guys, when we say, you know, comer, comí, right, comió, and comido, right? Mm -hmm. Right? That comido would be the past participle form, right? So, basically, guys, the past participle form, guys, will be used with perfect tenses, okay? Remember, it will be used, guys, okay? Past participles will usually <clears throat> usually be used with perfect tenses, okay? All right, perfect tenses, got it? All right, so now we have past, uh, past perfect, right? So it's a perfect tense, see, past perfect. Because we can use it with present perfect, see? You can say, I have eaten. Now, present perfect, uh, past perfect, right? I had eaten, okay, very good. So see, perfect tenses, guys, you are used with past participles, okay? So far, so good? Yes. All yes. right, very, very good, guys, very good, okay? All right, so now, guys, hey, remember, guys, cameras turned on, okay? Uh. I know, right? We want to receive the class from the bathroom, right? And be like, okay, you know, I'm just going to relax in the bathroom, have the class from here, right? But how are you going to have a notebook in the platform, guys? Okay? I mean, the, in the platform, in the in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. right? So, come on, right? One day, guys, one day, and you got to be careful. One day, guys, I had a student, and, and, and I think she turned on the camera accidentally, and she was, she was actually, guys, um, she was, uh, she she was, in her bed, and she was like this, you know. She was she was sleeping. <laughs> what happened in the class? All right, so don't don't. I mean, <laughs> all right. If you want to learn, guys, you can, you know. Let's let's learn, right? So, anyways, all right. So, guys, um, so so this is how we use, you know, past participles. Okay. Now, let's take a look. Let's go back to the presentation and. And let's talk more about it, okay? So we have, for example, when, oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can I, can I say this, guys? Is this okay? 
Hold on. Let me see, guys. I'll give you extra points, guys. All right. I'll give you extra points if you can answer me this. Can I say this? Is this correct? I had come. Yes or no? No. Why? Why would that not be correct? Why? Because come in that case is can. No, 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 no. The past participle of come is come, guys. Okay. And so, so yeah. This, I have. This, okay. All right. I'm sorry, Maria. I have. I have. Why would it be I have? Uh, tell me. I, I have. I had. I've come. Okay. I have come. Okay. Yeah, we could say I have come, right? Um, so, thank you. Thank you very much, Maria. All right. But no, guys, that's those are not the reasons. Okay, this is, guys, there's no grammar mistake here. So, what is the problem? There is no grammar mistake. There is no um, spelling mistake. There isn't anything like that. So, what is the problem? If there is no grammar mistake. They have come. Okay. Now, guys, to find the reason, all right? So, it's okay, right? So, I'm going to explain it to you. The, to find the reason why, you know, that was uh, incorrect, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what? The okay. Switcher, the switcher. The switcher? Yes. We can the sentence. The, the sentence? What do you mean? I'm not understanding what you're saying. The what? All right. Can you can you see the presentation now? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So, anyways, okay. So let's let's continue. Okay. So the reason why, guys, is because of the usage. Okay. Uh, why are we? You know, why why should we use past perfect if we can use past? Uh, I mean, simple past. Why? Take a look at this. When I arrived, <clears throat> my parents had left. So what's going on here guys can i only say right i'm gonna ask you this can i only say guys my parents had left would that be okay my parents had left yes grammatically right that would be correct but it would be incorrect guys because the thing guys is that i we have how many clauses do we have here do you know what a clause is a clause guys is a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate, okay? So it, it's got to contain a verb, right? When I say, guys, when I arrived, what what tense is that? What tense is when I arrived? In simple past. past. Uh, simple past. past uh, simple past. Yes, right? So it is simple past, right? Then comma and, and past perfect. Why? Why do we use it like that? Remember, guys, that I asked you, hey, what do we use simple past for? And we use some, we use simple past to talk about things that happened in the past, right? And finished in the past. Okay. So now, past perfect, guys. The reason why we're gonna use past perfect is because we're gonna talk about an event or an action that happened in the past before another event in the past. For example, take a look at this example right here. Can somebody please help me read? Anybody? Yes. When he arrived to the train station, the train had left. Good job. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, right? When he arrived to the train station, the train had left, right? Take a look at this, right? Do we have simple pass? Yes or no? Yes, yes. yes we have simple past, right? When he yes. arrived. Yes. Okay, and then we have past perfect, right? The train had left. So which action happened first, guys? So 
which which action happened first? When he arrived to the train station, the train had left. Which one? The train has left. Very good, guys. Mm -hmm. Whatever is in past perfect happened first, okay? Okay. All right. Well, if we say, you know, after, you know, the train had left, right? Like we can we can work with that, right? But but usually, guys, past perfect, right? See, will be before simple past. You see? So at 9 a.m., let's say that at 9 a.m., the train left and the kid arrived at 9.15. Got it? So that's what we say, you know, the train, when he arrived, he arrived at 9.15, the train had left, right? So simple past, guys, will be used to talk about an action that happened before and happened another uh, before another action in the in the past. Okay. Sounds good. Does it make sense? Okay. Very good, guys. So do my favor. Okay. I want everybody, guys, to write down in your notebook. Do the, an example like this. By the way, guys, you can you can use simple simple past first if you. I mean simple. I mean past perfect first if you want. And then simple past. You could have said the train had left when he arrived to the train station. The only difference, guys, is that you're not going to use a comma, okay? If you do it like that. But you can switch the, the order of the clauses, okay? All right. So do my favorite, guys. Everybody, please, if you have questions, ask me. Um, and uh, let's give me, guys, three examples in your notebook of sentences in past perfect combined like with simple past like this, okay? You can keep using when if you want, but you can also use before or after or by the time, right? You can use some other time clauses. Okay, so let's work on it, on this case. Right. Go on, guys. All right, guys, so did anybody finish? If you finish first, guys, you can, you know, share your example with us. That'll be great. Uh, 
I have one. Um, All right. When I came back home, my sister had left. Beautiful. That is perfect. All right. Very good. Do you have another one? Hey, teacher. Okay. I, I okay. Let's uh, Jennifer, if you have another one, give me another one. Uh, yes. Okay. After, after Mario had finished finished his work, he went to lunch. Okay. The pronunciation will be finished. Finished. Yes. Thank you. Okay. After Mario had finished his lunch. He went to work, his right? Work, his work. Uh, his work, he went to lunch. Okay, very good. Good job. There you go. Yeah, that is, that. those are perfect examples. Thank you very much, Jennifer. All right? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hey, teacher. Tell me, Noah. Okay. Uh, my father had visited China several times. Visited. Visited. Yes. My father had visited China several times. Are you saying have or had? Had. H. H. Um. I. D. Had. Had. My father, okay. Had. My father. My 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 father had visited China several times. Yes. Okay. You're missing something there because you got to give me the reference. For example, my father had visited China several times before he came back here, before, you know, or before 2020. You can say something like that, you know. I got to have another reference because, you know, the past perfect is to, used to talk about things that happened before another action or before a certain time in the past. Okay, oh, so okay. you need, so that's why you need to combine it with, with simple past. Okay, so that's okay. the only part that you're missing. So finish that, and then, you know, we're going to be fine. Okay. Okay. Teacher. All right. So, okay. So, Alexander, do you have something? Do you have anything? I'm sorry. Uh, when I went to the supermarket, the supermarket had clothes. No, the supermarket had clothes. Let me okay. So check this out. All right, let's correct those those uh, things there so we can. So when you say okay, so let me ask. I'm gonna ask you something. If you say I had, uh -huh. I had apples. No. What tense is this? Is past. this past past perfect? No. What is this then? Simple past, right? Subject, verb in the past, complement. Past uh -huh. perfect, you need a subject plus had plus a past participle. Where's the past participle? Okay. Now, guys, had in simple past, guys, here you're saying, if I were to translate it, it says, yo tenía manzanas. But when you, use, when you use past perfect, guys, it's not yo tenía. You say yo he, yo había, I'm sorry, yo había, right? So you say I had, you can say, you can say something like this, okay? I had eaten apples. Había comido manzanas, got it? Big difference, right? So uh, I, I had apples. Or here, guys, I had, had apples, right? Había tenido manzanas. See, big difference. This is past perfect and this is simple past. Got it? Because had here and had here are very different. This is a, right? This is a verb, this is an action verb, and this is an, this is an auxiliary, okay? All right? So let's correct that, Alexander, and I'm gonna ask you again, okay? And remember, guys, we need to combine it with simple past, right? So I'm gonna give you more examples. Yes. If you have not finished, guys, okay, remember. Okay, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it uh, a little bit more here. All right, hold on. I'm gonna I want to show you this, okay? 
So you finish, you do the, your, your corrections, guys, okay? I was expecting some errors. So so we can uh, clarify this, okay? So notice this, guys, okay? I want you to take a look at this picture over here, all right? And I want you to notice kind of like what we are expecting here, okay? So hold on. So take a look at this. Oh, my God. All right. So we have past perfect and simple past, right? And then we have the present. Two timelines, guys, okay? <clears throat> when he arrived to the train station, the train left. We need, guys, two clauses. We need simple past and we need past perfect. You need to tell me the, the first thing that happened and the second thing that happened, okay? The first thing that happened, guys, or the thing that happened first, okay, uh, needs to be in past perfect. And then the second thing will be in simple past, okay? So, for example, all right, so uh, when we go here, right, we know that we use these guys to talk about uh, things that are, happen before another action in the past. See, occurred something, occurred before another action in the past. Okay, that's why it's combined with simple past. So, for example, I didn't have any money. Because I had lost my purse. What happens first, guys? Did I lose my purse first, or, or you know, or I, or, or did I not have money first? No, I had lost my purse. Very good, right? I lost my purse first, right? So see, first, first event, I lost my purse. Second event, I don't have any money, right? So guys, el pasado perfecto existe. Porque sin él, si, si vos querés hablar de dos cosas, una cosa que pasó después de la otra, soy bien mal que digas, yo corrí, yo bebí. Right? Instead of that, you can say, yo, yo corrí después de beber. Right? And you would say, yo corrí después de que había bebido. And that is the combination of past verb. So that's what we need two actions, okay? Does that make sense now, guys? That's why they're called you know, an action, you know, before another past action. We had had that card for 10 years before it broke down. What happened before, what happened first, guys? Did I have the car or did it break down first? Mm, had the car. Okay, first of all, I had the car. And then it broke down, right? So I'm going to give you more examples, okay? Yeah. So you can keep on showing me yours, right? So I can say, for example, all right, so I can say, um, I had, I had, um, I had eaten a lot before I threw up, right? Había comido un montón antes de, vomit antes de que vomitara. Okay? See? That's what happened first, right? So we have two events, right? But notice, right? I I'm combining, guys. I'm combining, right? Past perfect. And then we have simple past. Okay? I can say... I can say... Uh, my Uber... All right... After I had, um, after I had uh, called my girlfriend, okay, right? Mi Uber, mi Uber llegó después de que había llamado a mi novia. Got it? Okay, so my Uber arrived after I had call, called my girlfriend, okay? All right. So see, guys, we have, again, we have two, right? Which one is the past perfect tense here? I had called my girlfriend. And simple past? My Uber arrived, right? Correct? Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. So anyways, so now, guys, if you had mistakes, you know, let's correct them and give me your examples, right? 
Um, so Noah, did you get to fix your your example? Yeah, did you correct your example? Um, because I, I, my synthesis. Yes, yes, did you okay. correct it? Mm, no. Okay, All right, very good. Alexander, did you, did you correct yours? I made another one. Yes, go I ahead. Did I didn't eat chicken because I had eaten a lot of apples and I feel full. And I feel stuffed, okay? Feel, uh, so feel, feel full, guys, does not exist in English, okay? It's stuffed, okay? Uh, very good. Good job. Very good. All right. So thank you. Thank you very much. Carla, do you have one? Yes. Um... When she played video games, the kid had started to eat. I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? Okay. When she played video game, the kid had started to eat. Video games, the kid had started to eat. Had started eating. Video. Okay, when she played video games. Now, this should be... Okay, so when she started playing video games. When she started playing video games, the kid has started, you know, and then you can say tweet here. Okay. When she started playing video games, the kid has started tweet. All right, so you can say that. Okay. Okay. Right. Do you have another one, Carla? And yes, when I came to the party, he had dance hit hop. When I came to the party, what he had dance hip hop, he had danced, danced hip hop. Okay, very good. All right, very good, very good. Okay, I right. uh, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, um, let's see, Maria Concepcion. Okay. When I woke up, the sun had already rise. When I woke up, right? The sun. <sighs> His sun what? The, the sun had already rise. The sun, what is the sun? The sun. Como el sol? His sun? You mean his no. sun? No, D D D T H. The the sun. Um, like that's the sun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Had already what? Yes. Yeah. See, already rise. A reason. Horizon. Horizon. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Uh, good job. Uh, Dulce. The teacher. All right. Hold on. Dulce? No? Okay. Uh, Eric Cardoza? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, you're driving, right? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Keep driving. Keep driving. Okay? Don't worry. I don't want you to crash just because of an example. Go Me ahead. Teacher. Me, teacher? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. My, my father arrived when I have a really my father arrived when I, I what? I have. No, when I had? Uh -huh. Already eaten. Already eaten. Good job. There you go. That's perfect, sir. Good job. Eric Cardoza. Thank you. Yes. When I left my house, mm -hmm. I have forgotten my uh, headphones. Earphones, sorry. My okay, very good. My earphones, very good. Good job. All right, that's great. When I left the house, I have forgotten my earphones. Okay, very good. Thank you, Eric. All right. Uh Nathalie Alejandra. Um, I had played with my cousin when it start rain. I had played with my cousin 
When it started to rain. Okay. Or it started raining. All right, very good. Good job. Good job. All right. Uh, okay. Jaime Reyes. This teacher, when I arrived to my home, arrived home, my daughter, my daughter had already gone to bed. Had already gone to, to bed. All right. Very good. Good job. Great. All right. And lastly, Juan Linares. One. Another teacher, I, I don't finish. Oh, okay, right. Okay, very good, very good. All right, guys, so um, thank you. Okay, thank you. Those were great examples. Applause for, for you guys, of course. Good job. Well done, sir, guys. Now, um, okay, so any questions here, guys, so far? Clear as vodka. Fry this vodka now. All right, great. So any questions now? Shall we move on? Okay. All right, guys. So why are we going to use past perfect? Okay. So past perfect, guys, okay, is used to talk about something that happened before another action in the past, right? That's what we said. Okay. So that's why we combine it with past perfect. Okay. So you can say, right, I didn't have any money because I had lost my purse, right? But we can also use it, guys, to describe a period of time before a past action. We had had already that car for 10 years, right? See the period of time, 10 years, before it broke down. You can say, I had, I had uh, eaten, um, I had eaten a lot of burritos, you know, a lot of burritos before I got sick, okay? Well, I had, I have, uh, I had ridden motorcycles for 20 years before I had my, uh, my first accident. Sí, había conducido motos por 20 años uh, antes de tener mi primer accidente. Got it? Thank you. Thank you. All right. So yes, you can use it like that, right? <clears throat> so let's do another exercise then. Okay, I want you guys in your notebook. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes for this. I want you to paraphrase these sentences, okay? For example, uh, it says, I took an aspirin, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I took an aspirin, then I felt better, right? How can you combine those two, uh, those two phrases, guys, those two clauses into one, okay? You can use a time clause, I mean, uh, you know, you can use a, uh, um, a time reference, right? After I had taken an aspirin, I felt better. You can use after. Okay, you can use after. You can use before. You can use when. Okay, All right? So these are actions that happened before other actions in the past, okay? So let's join them together. Remember that if you use, you know, if you use uh, when or after or or before first, then you need to use a comma, okay? All right, so let's go, guys. Show me those skills.
Right. So if you finish first, let me know, okay? Okay, all right, Maria. It's okay. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so did anybody finish? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. All right. I have one. So how many? You, you need to you need to finish them all right but uh, but yeah whatever you have now because it's almost time to leave the show uh, okay uh, he did uh, he did his home he did his homework 
and then and then he went to the skate park. Then, then he went to bed. Went. So okay. So she did her no. homework. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you. I'm okay. gonna give you an example of the first one. Okay, I'm gonna help you with the first one. Okay, so you uh -huh. can say, you know, uh, she went to bed after she had finished or done. Right, she had done her homework. Okay. Why? Because what what was the first action? So you can do this, right? What is the first action? She did homework, then she went to bed. Okay. Oh, the first action is this one, and then then one is this one. Okay. So that first one will be past perfect, and then we'll have simple past. Okay. We saw our friends, then she then we went home. Which one happened first? This one, and then this one. He rang his parents, then he felt happy. Okay. Okay. Now this one and this one. I went to London, then I visited Oxford. Okay, first of all, I went to London, then I visited Oxford, right? First, I bought the ticket, then we know this one and this one, right? <clears throat> so from these two guys, which one will be in past perfect? Number two, which one will be in past perfect? Uh, the second one. The first action, guys. The first action is in past perfect. The second action is in simple past. So which one will be in past perfect? The first one. Uh, the yeah, the first one, right? So how would you say this? Okay, very good. So how would you say this? The second one or the second? The uh, yeah, first one. Yeah. How, how do you, I guess, how, how do you... Um, what is the answer for, for number two? Uh, before we had done, we no, have... Number no, two. No. Does anybody um, have number two, guys? Number two. Okay, again, turn the first sentence, guys, the first action into past perfect. Let's all do that. Number two, turn the first, the first action in past perfect. How would you say it? How would you say the first action in past perfect, guys? The number two. Yes. After we had seen our friends, uh, we went home. Okay, so let's see. After we had seen our friends, we went home. That is go that is absolutely great. Right? So what happens first? Okay, uh the first action was seeing our friends, right? And then what happened then? We went home, okay? After we had seen our friends, we went home. Very good job, okay? Es decir, después de haber visto a nuestros amigos, nos fuimos a casa. So what happens first? We, well, we saw our friends, and then we went home. Good job, right? Great job, man. Okay, number three, guys. <clears throat> Transform these guys, right? This will be in, in past perfect, right? And this will be in simple past. Okay, so how join them together. How would you join them together? Who's got the third one? Maybe after he had wrong his parents, he felt happy. After he had rang his parents, he felt happy. Very good, yes. Okay. But he's wrong. Way. Sorry. And this is actually wrong, guys. The past participle is wrong. Yeah. Give them a phone. to give them a phone call. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
All right, very good. That is correct, right? You can also use when, guys, and before, you know? You could have said, for example, you could have said, you know, um, you could have said he had wrong his parents um, and uh, you can see uh, he had wrong his parents, you know. No, actually this one would be before, after, you know. That that would be actually the best one. After he had wrong his parents, you know, comma, he felt happy. Okay, then you can see here, I went to London, then I visited Oxford, Oxford, right? Perhaps can you use when or or after or before? What do you think? What do you have here, guys? Number four. After then after then visited Oxford. Uh -huh. I visited I visited Oxford. Then I went to London. No, uh -uh. No, 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 no. You got to join the two, uh, the two cl classes together, right? So what the first, the action that happened first, guys, let's put the action that happened first in past perfect. So which ac action happened first? Maybe after I had gone to London, oh, I visited uh, Oxford. Yes. Very good. After uh, I had gone, okay. I had uh, gone to London. I visited Oxford, right? Very good. Good job. Very good. All right. And lastly, guys, number six. Uh, another. Uh, do we have another volunteer, guys? Thank you, man. Thank you very much. So what about this? When they had took some photos or taken, they left. When they bought, right? When they bought, when they had bought, or uh, the six one, okay. When they when they had bought the ticket. When when they. No, when I had bought bought the ticket, I went I went into the cinema. Okay. The ticket I. Went right I. I went, I went, sorry, I went into the cinema. So when I had bought the ticket, I went into the cinema, right? First I bought the ticket, okay? This is saying, cuando había comprado el ticket, entré al cine. All right, all right, very good, okay? Very good, that is correct, okay? Good job, good job, Claudia, thank you very much, all right? Very good, guys, very good, right? So these guys, all right, these are the ways in which we can join two sentences, guys, you know? Um, to talk about, I mean, two, two actions um, using past perfect and simple past, right? Now, we're going to get more practice, guys, on this to, uh, tomorrow since I see that we still have uh, some issues, okay? But, guys, uh, we'll get the, the time to practice tomorrow. Do you have any questions before we leave? All right. So, remember, we are going to have a class this Friday, okay? All right. Just if I, but thank you guys. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys, and have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.